second video of that and we've had uh, some surprising results so far with uh, with some of our camera versus uh, a brand versus brand if you will competition um, our last one was Browning versus Ape Man, right? Yeah, we where we left it in the last episode was Browning versus Ape Man, and uh, so the winner of that was it was the Browning. The Browning, yeah. So the Ape Man was more like the Walrus in this case. You see what I did there? <laughs> see that? We can't use Beetle music in her, but if we could, that would be good. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Walrus. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, I know you viewed these more than I did, so maybe you can reference it, but uh, big differences between the two? Yeah, I think we saw the, the Browning actually had almost three to one uh, number of pictures detected or taken versus the Ape Man. And the thing that really surprised me probably the most was the picture quality. The, the picture quality on the Browning, both daytime and nighttime, was really good. Uh, but the, the ape man just for some reason uh, was very blurry yeah. or grainy. Grainy is probably a better word. And so between detection and picture quality, I mean, I think I would say that you know this probably was a no-brainer, right? This this one, the brownie just kicked its butt. Yeah. Now, again, when we summarize these, the the significant technological difference between these two cameras is the brownie does have a white flash. So, uh, you know, that's something that we're going to have to consider when we do the, uh, the summary of this. Mm -hmm. But uh, certainly between the Ape Man and the Brownie, it's uh, a no-brainer. Also, the only other, th the Brownie, the only thing, it is the only camera with six batteries. Everything else takes eight. Yeah, which is weird because usually it's four and eight, right? Yeah. Huh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so anyway, the Browning, uh, the Browning moves on. So the Browning, uh, the Browning uh, now is going to be in the second round, like the Stealth is. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think that kind of sets up, you know, the final bracket in round one, which is uh, the, the Primos versus the Moultrie. Yeah, should be, I mean, from a seating perspective, those are, so the Moultrie I got, uh, for my aunt and uncle for Christmas, so it's a new, it's new technology. It's one of the newest ones out there. Certainly the newest one, one of the newest ones in our inventory. Yeah, between us. And looking at it, you can tell it's kind of newer, modern, more modern looking kind of camera. And then the Primos. The Primos is one of the. Primos is a little bit older. It's two or three years. So it's three or four years old, but uh, still selling them today and. Um, uh, you know, it's my go-to camera, so it'll be interesting how that one turns out. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, one of the other things we talked about, so in wrestling, you have the concept of wrestleback, and you and I have talked about, hey, should we, should we introduce, even though we're talking football, have something like a playback, a playback with regards to... Um, we didn't, the test didn't go right, or hey, I'd like to give this brand one more try. Um, maybe we want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, it, I think the concept is, um, you know, if you're in a bracket of any kind and you get beat by the ultimate champion in the first round, you know, you could technically be the second best camera in this case um, in there, but because you had to wrestle a champion right off the get, get go or or, you know, you were bracketed up against the champion in the first round. Um, so we want to kind of eliminate that, I think. Um, so, you know, stay tuned for that. I think we've got some ideas on how we could compare some of those cameras that got eliminated in round one that we felt, um, you know, were maybe better than that. If they were paired up to a different camera, would have made it to round two or even in the finals. Excellent. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Stay tuned.
Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.